I'm joined by Simpson Softball's head coach, Wayne Stower. So Wayne, your girls just beat Embry-Riddle to advance to play Marymount tomorrow in the second round of the championships. Right. But the first two innings were a little bit slow. What did you see change in the third inning to give the girls the energy that they needed? Well, we never get in too big a rush through the second time through the lineup. And once we start going through the second time, we saw the pitcher through the first two innings and then the third time, the first second time through the lineup, we go out and we swing those bats a lot better then. What did you see today that you especially liked from your girls? Uh, just the energy they brought today and, you know, Sydney on the mound threw a really good game and that always helps us out. Um, but mostly the energy, good timely hitting. All right, and then for tomorrow's game, what will you be focusing on in order, in order to take down Marymount? Score more runs than they do. All right, thank you, Coach. Congratulations <laughs> right. and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. I'm joined by Simpson Softball's number six, Sydney Moorhead, and number 27, Madison Wright. So, Sydney, I'm going to start with you. This is your second year competing in the CalPAC Championships. What's different about this year? I think the only difference is we peaked a little later than we did last year, but I think that we've been doing pretty well. You pitched a great game today. How did you feel about your performance? I think I did pretty good, but in the last inning, we were up by three, and there were two runners on, and I thought the girl was going to hit it over, but our left fielder, Sade, ended up catching it, so they did not score. All right, and then Maddie, you got the scoring run going, and then you made a great play in the fourth inning. How did you feel about your performance today? Um, it felt really good. I knew after my first at-bat, I missed a chance to score some runners, so I knew at this at-bat I had to do my job. And um, with that catch, I just, I don't know, it just came out out of nowhere. <laughs> and then as, as one of only two seniors on the team, what do you tell the younger girls to keep them in the game? Um, you know what, today we had a little talk before the game and I told them that we just have to pick up the intensity and really just ball out and leave everything on the field, no um, regrets. All right, thank you to both of you. Congratulations on the win today and good luck tomorrow against Marymount. Thank you. Thank you.